How's it going everyone? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brahalla for you guys today as always. I hope you're all having a beautiful day wherever you guys might be. So today we're going to watch a few replays. Uh, these are games that literally just happened. I just wasn't recording. I was just chilling, having fun, you know, playing some Brahalla. And um, I don't know. I don't know if it's just me or maybe you guys come across a lot of people like this too, but... I feel like there's some people in Brahalla that just have really, really big egos or I don't know, just for some reason, uh, they're just not humble <laughs> and they like to uh, show it. They like to show it a lot. So anyways, I want to show you guys what happens when people are like that to me and typically how it goes. So, all right. So this was the first match. Three, um, two, I'm, I'm picking one, Reno. Uh, Fate and Nyx. This is 1v1 strikeout. And the reason I picked those three is because of uh, daily. I'm just trying to do daily missions where I have to do blasters, scythe, and orb KOs. And you can see this guy, he's uh, he's really into it. You know, I, I wasn't really ready when I started the game. You know, my fault, my fault, whatever. You know, you guys know me. I typically like to give a weapon uh, and, you know... If they don't let me get a weapon, it is what it is, but, you know, I kind of expect to get a weapon. And if they don't let me get a weapon, when I let them get a weapon, then I like to fight unarmed. Just to show them that, you know, <laughs> I don't need the weapon, you know? I'm letting you get a weapon to help you, not, not, <laughs> it's okay, you know? But after I take the first stock, you know, it's fine. I proved a point. Now I just want to... Have some fun, play the game. So we're gonna use a weapon. And uh, I don't know if it's karma or I was just feeling pretty good. Not like I have a perfect game or anything here, but I have a feeling that the reverse karma was already strong in his head. Like after I beat him with that unarmed stock, he was kind of like, okay, I'm probably uh, gonna lose this game unless I try really hard, even though I literally gave him a, a free stock at the beginning and uh, how quickly it, it turned around and here he, he doesn't want to get back on stage so I just let him get back on stage dude like I don't really care that much to chase you so long you know if, if you want me to chase you around the map I'm just gonna wait get back up here and, and fight sometimes I don't really care and I'll just go off stage other times I don't really feel like going off stage and I just want to have stage control you know at the end of the day the objective is to knock the opponent off the stage so jumping off the stage is a bit of a risk that you don't need to take and uh, this guy at this point I'm just in his head like nothing is working for him and it's only a matter of time before this game is over like I said I, I don't I don't play a perfect game but good enough Okay, so he actually, you don't see it here because it's a replay, but as soon as I hit that side sig, he disconnected. He did not wait until after the game. All right, I, I kid you not, very next Three, game. Two, very one, next game. I'm, I'm picking the same legends, Reno, uh, Fate, and Nyx. Because like I said, I'm just trying to... All right, this guy actually has a little bit more honor than the last guy because as he saw, he let me get a weapon because I let him get a weapon. So cool, you know? I figured, all right, here is a uh, mature, reasonable person not being, you know, letting their emotions get the best of them. Because that's what it is a lot of times. I think people are just kind of emotional when they play. They have, they have an ego, you know, and they're emotional. You put those things together and, you know, it's fine. Some people are extremely good because they're emotional, like Michael Jordan. Or, you know, people that are extremely, extremely competitive. You have to have a lot of emotion. You have to. Um, and you also have to have a big ego. You know, I get that. I get all that. But at the same time, <laughs> if you're confident in yourself, you don't really have to act that way, you know? Show the confidence in your gameplay, which is basically what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm confident. I don't really care if, if you get an advantage at the beginning or how emotional you will get about the win or the loss. Um, it doesn't really matter to me. I'm just having fun. And uh, here, you know, this guy's pretty good. He actually... I'm surprised that side stick didn't hit. I really like playing Reno, but like I said, I'm only playing these legends because I'm trying to do missions. These are not like my best legends or anything, although I do like playing them. 
I like to just kind of like see what people do. And I like to be unpredictable as much as possible. Most players just assume you really, really want the weapon. Which is why I don't typically go for weapon spawn, you know? Like, if it's too obvious that that's what they think I'm going to do, then I typically don't. I'll just fight unarmed. I get so much damage unarmed because they think I want the weapon. So much. Enough to win games. So, nice little fate versus fate. Orb versus orb action here. I used to be pretty good with fate. I've gotten diamond with fate in the past, but I don't really play that much anymore. But, again, good enough to get the win most of the time. Not a perfect victory or perfect performance, but good enough. Most of these people I'm going against are high plat, low diamond. I don't really know what elo these guys are, to be honest. I, I don't know, but who knows? You can look them up in the Brahala 1v1. All right, he let me kind of get back on there. So I have the lead. This guy so far, like I said, he's not being like toxic or anything. But at the end of the game, he does give me a thumbs down. So that's why he's included in the video of shattering egos. I think that's what the video will be called. Shattering egos, because that's, that's what I do a lot. And, you know, a lot of you might be thinking, well, don't you have like a big ego, Lucian? Look at you posting a video about destroying other people with big egos. I mean, like I said, you if you want to win, you do have to be competitive. And I am competitive. The difference is I just try not to be, mm, what's the word, rude. <laughs> I just try to be fair and balanced with my approach. And usually it works. Usually it works. I win most of the time. So I must be doing something right. And a lot of times I beat the people that are like, you know, giving me thumbs down. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm doing something right. And yeah, I, I do have a little bit of an ego. I'm not going to lie, but I try to be humble. All right. So here's the thumbs down. I actually clipped it so that I could put it in the video. All right. All right. I kid you not. This was Three, the very two, next game. One. So three games in a row where I had people that, again, I wasn't really ready. I almost died there. Uh, it's okay if you want to attack when I'm not ready. I get that. Keep in mind, though, this is not ranked. This is strikeout. You know, and I just feel like some people are just trying so hard. And it's okay, like, I, if you want to play that way. But, you know, what happens then is I embarrass you with, you know, by beating you, even though you had a huge advantage at the start. And by showing that, you know, you're trying so hard and I'm barely even trying. And you still lose. And that, you know, I think it gives them a little bit of a sting, hopefully, to where... All right, see, he's taunting. He got me. He got me. Right. Fair enough. But look at the, the long taunt. By the way, I love that taunt with the one, uh, one shade, like, eyeglasses or whatever. Or shades. It's so funny. I don't really care that much. But if you're going to do that, you better win, right? Why are you taunting when you got one stock? You didn't win anything. You know, win the game at least if you're going to taunt. And if you if you taunt and you don't win, it, it, I don't even need to describe what that makes you look like. Everybody, <laughs> I think, has their own feelings on what that looks like, but it doesn't look good for you. So just don't taunt on people unless you're going to back it up. Um, but yeah, this guy, you know, he still has a pretty good advantage on us. Okay, that was a perfect throw, not going to lie. But the taunt, again, not really necessary. If you want to taunt, it's fine. I don't mind, but... <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Unarmed again. You, you think I need the weapon? You better hope I don't pick up the weapon, bro. I'm just as good unarmed. Uh, they shouldn't have done that. That He could have punished it even better, but... And goodbye. Mm, yeah? No? Yeah? Okay, goodbye. This guy, I'm pretty sure, also gave me thumbs down after this game. Why did he give me thumbs down? I don't know. Okay, see, I'm letting him get the weapon there, which, you know... Normally, I don't after the first stock. 
But I was feeling generous. Okay, you yeah, know, whatever. He, ta he taunts on everything he does. I think that they think that by taunting me, it like makes me nervous or gets in my head. But it's funny because it literally does the opposite. It makes me uh, more calm. It makes me think that they're funny. And um, it actually just makes me want to win even more and embarrass them. Even if I get banged around a bit, which like right here, I'm getting banged around. I'm, I'm losing, literally losing, but I don't panic. Look at that, he thought he won. <laughs> He's just holding it. He thought he won. I think he thought he won about 20 times this video. And it's funny because, you know, he doesn't win. He doesn't win. Spoilers, spoilers, but he doesn't win. And, uh, you know, it's entertainment. It's entertainment for me. And now it's entertainment for you guys. I'm not trying to uh, embarrass these people. I'm just pointing out what they are doing, which to me is embarrassing themselves. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little bit of entertainment. If you want to call them so uh, salty, you know, that's fair. They were thumbs downing me. Are they toxic? Mm, I wouldn't go that far, but I bet you if there was post game chat, <laughs> you know, <laughs> they, I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know, try to be nice out there, guys. You, The other person that you're playing is just another person. It's just another person. And you're playing the same game. That means you have shared interests. You know, you could be friends. You could be friends. You don't have to try to hate everybody you're playing. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. As always, this is Lucian Sword. Take it easy, friends.